Hi, Ken German here. I'm the Unstoppable Geek, and we're on day 28 of the Clicks Gone Wild video challenge. And I just I want to say just how much fun this is to be able to do the video challenges and to really help you give you some valuable content. You know, when I was doing my Google Hangout last night, and I had a chance to talk to talk to Stan, and it was kind of interesting that you know when you're on these webinars all the time, these Google Hangouts that they don't really tell you a lot. I mean, a lot of these that are that they're just kind of just giving you enough, which which is kind of the purpose of the hangout, right? It's to just give you enough, like the snack size candy bar, to want to be able to do whatever the call to action they have you doing. So yesterday, in the Clicks Gone Wild video challenge, I was talking about outsourcing, and two of my favorite places to outsource are Fiverr.com. And if you don't know what Fiverr.com is, you need to check it out. It's people, it's work that people will do for five bucks. And people will do some pretty amazing things for five dollars. Now the one thing I don't recommend that you do on Fiverr or any place is buy Facebook clicks or Twitter followers. That's an absolute waste of time and it's an app because it's just like going out to AdFly and, and, and throwing a bunch of traffic at a capture page. You buy a bunch of clicks and it's it just a bunch of junk stuff. So, Fiverr is, is a good resource and that's one of the places that I actually, which we're gonna talk about today, I use to create whiteboard animated videos. Whiteboard videos. And I'll have a little bit more detailed uh, training on how to create a whiteboard video today, but when you look at your and this is what's so important about outsourcing. The most valuable asset that you have in your life next to your family and those that you love and care about is time. We only have so many hours per day to accomplish so much work and you wanna focus your time and efforts and your energy on what comes easiest to you and charge the most for it. And there's a lot of little mundane tasks that my productivity was in the toilet until I started to outsource. When I started outsourcing and I could start taking these tasks that I needed to get completed and created statements of work which we'll cover in a future Google, a future uh, future trainings is my, my, my productivity skyrocketed. My productivity increased by 500%. All these mundane tasks that I hated doing, I hired out. You know, I suck at graphic design. I recognize that. I found a graphic designer that does excellent work for $8 an hour. I can do WordPress websites but I can get an entire WordPress website done for me for about 250 bucks. And I could turn around and I could sell that website for 1500 bucks. But I don't want to do website work because one of the things I'm trying to, uh, I'm, I'm avoiding in my business is I don't want to be in the accounts, the accounts receivable space. I want to be in the accounts payable. Well, I want to be in the, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be in the, in the, in the business of collections. I want to know that I'm getting a paycheck and I don't have to chase after people to pay me. I don't have to worry about sending stuff to collections because I don't have to, you know that's just things I don't want to worry about right now in my business. So my process for doing a whiteboard video and you'll see some of them that I've done already and for my Clicks Gone Wild 2.0 team I'm actually going to create some whiteboard videos that my Clicks Gone Wild 2.0 team can use so they can they can leverage Joey Kasemi's YouTube video method. So I'll have some done for you videos for my Clicks Gone Wild 2.0 team. So my process is pretty simple. What I do is I put together the script and, and, and the script is, no, is, is done in a PowerPoint and then I do the voiceover from the script I give them the I give my my whiteboard video guy that's on Fiverr the script. 
that I created in PowerPoint. I gave him the audio file that I created in um, an Audacity on PC. I think there's also an, an Audacity on Macintosh as well. And I, I, I do the video script. And I hand it to him and I pay him 60 bucks. And within 48 hours, I've got a beautifully done whiteboard video that engages people, that keeps them, that, that's, that's, that keeps them curious, and it gets their attention. Because that's one of the attention things that we want, right? We want to be able to get people's attention in our, in our business. Now, I bought some of the tools to create the whiteboard videos, and I just, I had to realize, I just I looked back and said, you know, I can go to Fiverr.com. I was paying some other people on Elance, like 250 bucks, and I found some people on Fiverr that did the same type of same quality of work for sixty. You know, while Fiverr is you know only five bucks, well, sure you can get a short you can get a, a short video done, but typically I'm doing two minute long whiteboard uh, two minute long whiteboard videos because that's the maximum I'm going to get somebody's attention for. And with a whiteboard video, you can communicate a lot of information in a short amount of time. So the script generally that I have, and I'm going to just share this with you, and I'm going to, uh, is the, the 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 format for the script that I use is I have a market identifier. Who are the people I want to attract with the video? Who are the people that I want to watch the video? So are you know, and typically the question is, are you blah 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 blah? Are you struggling? Are you a network marketer struggling to make money? On, uh, struggling to make money? Whatever your market identifier is, whoever you want to isolate that down to, then I connect with them with what, let's say anywhere from three to five pain points that they might be struggling with. Then I come back and I say, well, hey, I'm the, I'm the hero. I'm going to help you solve this. And then the three to five pain points that they might be struggling with, I introduce myself, and then I come back as the hero and say, I can help you solve that problem. Then I have a strong call to action in the video that gets them to click on the link below the video or click, gets them to click on the link on the, on the lead page page, on the sales page. That's my general process that I use and that's a typical marketing format that you'll hear a lot of people talk about. So it's a, a market identifier, I'm going to take notes on this if you want, a market identifier some of the pain points and struggles that, that these you know people are going to be having in my, in my market that I'm trying to attract. If I'm trying to attract six-figure earners, what's the biggest obstacle that six-figure earners have? It's time. They're working 60, 70 hours a week to earn that six-figure income. They don't have time for their children. They don't have time for themselves. They don't have time for their family. So if you want to pitch six-figure earners as an example, you want to be able to, A, give them a business opportunity that they can work a sh for a short number of hours per day to be able to quickly replace their six-figure income. That's what, that would be one example. You'd also be wanting going after these six-figure earners on sites like LinkedIn and theladders.com. So if you run a CPV campaign, you want to target theladders.com. That would be another little golden nugget for you. So you've, you've got the three pain points. You introduce yourself. And then you come back and say, I'm the hero, I can help you solve that problem. Free video reveals, blah, 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 blah. You know, you've given them the free video, and then you just, whatever, your, whatever your lead magnet is, you're going to give them to it in the video. And then you have them click on, then you have a strong call to action, and boom, there's your, there's your whiteboard video format. So, I'm planning on, on having some other additional resources to my Clicks Gone Wild 2.0 team that's going to help them be successful. So I'll actually pay to have some of these whiteboard videos done. They're going to be generic enough to be able to help get people engaged and help us inbox better with Clicks Gone Wild 2.0. Because I'll have, like I said, the videos will already be done. You'll be able to upload them to your own YouTube channels and you'll be able to use them. Because I want to help you support your success and I want to help you get the results and I want to help you reach your big money goals. So this is day 28 of the Clicks Gone Wild video challenge. And this is all about outsourcing and how to create whiteboard videos.